Okay, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video where we're going to go through the third skill that you need to know for your IGCSE 0607 maths course, and that is how to make a regression line from data. So this is a very typical question from the IGCSE paper four, and we're gonna find, using this data, the equation of the regression line for y in terms of x. So I'm gonna go through how the TI Inspire does this. If you like this content, then do please like and subscribe. Right, let's go over to my GDC. So we have this here. We need to go to the Add List and Spreadsheet section, like so. And before we start anything, I would like to label my columns. So this is going to be my X column, the ticket price, and then this is going to be Y, which is the number of tickets sold. And the first thing that we need to do is type in all the data. So we've got 22, 23, 35, 40. This might take you a bit of time on the calculator. I've got a fancy emulator here, so I can show you exactly how this works. So notice I'm just typing in the top row. Now I go up to the top and then type in these numbers here. So 8,600, 9,100, 7,000, 7,600. You get the idea here, and we just type all this information in. 6,000, 4,800. So I'm just being very careful that I'm reading everything correctly. You don't want to make a mistake with that. Okay, once you've got all the data in, make sure it matches up. So we've got 10 pieces of data, which makes sense because it's 10 different prices. Then we scroll to the top, we go to menu, and here we go to the statistics section number four. Then we go to stat calculations, and we want number three, which is our linear regression. Number four will also work as well. Now, once we click that, it gives us the so-called X list. Now, this is really important here. We want to click on this arrow here and then click on X. So we're telling the calculator, read from the X values, and then we click on here. So to tell the calculator, uh, read from the Y values, we leave everything else alone. We click on the OK button and we get all this information on the right hand side. And this is the information we need for our regression line. So notice it gives us the M and it gives us the B. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to write in that information so the examiner knows exactly what number we got. So M is equal to minus 119.71 dot 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 and B is equal to 11,000 and move that my cursor out of the way. There we are. 11,694.2. Now remember, on an IGCC paper, you're always rounding to three significant figures. Now, how do we actually write this? Well, the formula for the regression line is y equals mx plus b. And notice now the calculator's given us the m and given us the b. So we need to round these to three significant figures. So this to three significant figures will be equal to 100, minus 120, like so. Hopefully you can read that. Let's try again. Minus 120, like so. And then this number here, remember the three significant figures is 11,700. So I'm rounding from here. And then we just substitute this in. So we've got y equals minus 120x plus 11,000. 700. So you need to know this skill to get these two marks on your IGCSE paper. It's not the most important skill. Please do check out the other two videos you see in front of you, but otherwise this is a good two marks to get.